हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथमेटिक्स लेट अस डिस्कस दिस इंटरेस्टिंग लॉगरथम प्रॉब्लम वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट लॉग ऑफ एक्स अपॉन वाई माइनस जेड इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ वाई अपॉन जेड माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ जेड अपॉन एक्स माइनस वाई वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स रेज टू पावर एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वाई रेज टू पावर वाई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जेड रेज टू पावर जेड टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल यूज टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लॉगरथम फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लॉगरथम इज नथिंग बट द पावर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लॉग The property is such that if there is an argument and if there is a power here c, you can bring that value in front of the log. And the reverse is also true if there is term multiplied in front of log, you can take the term to the power. Why will I use this property? Because here in the question I can see that x raised to power x. So I have to generate the power x of the variable x. Same for y, same for z. In log term, if I will see, I see here x. So there has to be a power x. Here it is y. There has to be a power y. There is z. There has to be power z. So that is why I will think of using this property. There is one more property that I will use is the addition property of log. Log x plus log y with the same base a. That is nothing but log of x y. We will use this property later. First, we will use this property to generate these powers of x, y, and z. So now I know that I have to generate the power here x. So what I will do is in this part I will multiply and divide by x because I know that if there is a term multiplied in front of log with some value x, that can go to the power of log term. So here x is written. I can take this part to the power x. that is how i will generate x raised to power x that is given here so that was the first thought process to start the question how to generate the power of a variable that is in the log i just multiply that value which has to be generated in the power similarly i will multiply this value by divide multiply and divide this by y and i know that now here it is in terms multiplied by y so i can take this to the power y so that i can generate y raised to power y that is the second part similarly i can see that here z raised to power z must be there so in front it has to be multiplied by z so i will multiply and divide by z so this will become z raised to power z in the log term denominator it will become zx minus zy so now i have generated z raised to power z now i know that if suppose this is a b and c so i have to generate a multiplied by b multiplied by c but these all three values are in terms of log so i know that in logarithm if there are some terms if they have to be generated in multiplication i have to add those terms so that is the next thought process to solve the question so i will just assume this value to be equal to k and i will find this value log of x raised to power x equal to kxy minus kxz because i can cross multiply here you can always assume the ratio to be some constant value Similarly, I will find the value of log of y raised to power y that will get multiplied by z minus y x multiplied by k. So that is k y z minus k y x. Similarly, log of z raised to power z will be z x minus z y multiplied by k is k z x minus k z y. Now I know that if these are three terms, I have to generate their product and they are in the log. So if I will name these equations as one, two, and three, I have to add these equations. So if you will add on the left side, you will get this addition. Right side, you will get this addition. Just take a look at this addition. The terms will get cancelled out. K x y, K y x will cancel out. K z x, K x z will cancel out. K y z, K z y will cancel out. So the right side part will be nothing but zero. Left side, you will get addition log of x raised to power x plus log of y raised to power y plus log of z raised to power z. So now I know that. log of x plus log y is log of xy so i can write this as log of x raised to power x multiplied by y raised to power y multiplied by z raised to power z so second thought process is complete if there are terms in log and if we have to generate their product you have to simply add those log terms so now we know that log of some value is nothing but 0 so that is only possible if this value is nothing but 1 because we know that log of 1 is nothing but 0 so that is the answer to this particular question very simple answer the answer is nothing but 
so irrespective of using this long calculation i can also directly solve by using the properties of ratio and proportion here directly now what is that property the property is this one p by a equal to q by b equal to r by c if this this is the ratio that is equated you can always equate this equal to addition of numerator terms upon addition of denominator terms this is what you can do always so now i can use this property here directly also because i know i have to add these values so i can write this as log of this plus log of this plus log of this that is addition of numerator upon addition of denominator so this is the second way which we can solve we can generate addition of log terms but here now if you will see the terms will get cancelled out because xy will cancel out with xy xz will cancel out with xz yz will cancel out with yz so denominator it will be nothing but zero so that is the term you will generate and numerator we know that log a plus log b plus log c will be log a log b log a b c this will get multiplied so now this upon zero is equal to constant k so this will get multiplied by zero so this value must be equal to zero in this way also we can get that this value is must be equal to one so that is the second way so we can use this ratio proportion property also here if you can see that here so it is very easy to solve because here in the denominator if you will see there are six terms and there is a complement of every term x y with minus x y x z with minus z x y z with minus z y so if you will add denominator parts here in ratios they will generate zero so addition must also generate zero that way also you can write that this addition is zero it means this product must be equal to one so that is the second way to simplify this expression now if you can think of any other way to solve this question please share in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video